Hello there, Sir from 17 once again, bringing you the second section to Bad Trouble and Knocking on my Bullet Storm Very Hard Difficulty video walkthrough. And this is for Act 6, Chapter 2. And as you can see, we're getting deeper and further underground as we, we go underneath the prison system itself. And we start to find even stranger creations and machinations that, that try and impede our journey, basically. So listen, to, look at this. I love this how it sways up and down. It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Just jiving on the lift. No idea why it's doing that. It's probably as the, the, the geometry keeps sinking down to, to meet the lift. Something that probably wasn't polished. No idea. Maybe it's just to, to give you the impression of buoyancy. I couldn't tell. But when you come down here, goodness me, I keep burping. My dinner's coming back on me like a motherfucker. But once you pull this switch, it'll open up these big ass doors. And when you slide in here, for some reason, this 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 level right now reminds me of a multiplayer level on the original Lost Planet. The only difference is there was lava on the Lost Planet version. But when you come along here, you have to use your leash to, to drop down these platforms. And on the very last one, it's going to make you climb across arm over tits with the monkey bars because this game loves that traversal mechanic. And I don't know why, because I think this is probably the worst part of the game when you're doing silliness like this. No idea why they put, wanted to put it in. But they did, so you know. And we can see now the burnouts are running away from something, and it turns out they're running away from the little crabby acid dudes. Which kind of remi remind me of the crawlers off of Resistance, if anybody's played those games. And I will say one thing about the crawlers on Resistance, I preferred them on the first game, because on the fucking second game, they were crap. But anyhow, slide down here. Do your thing. It's a, a little bit of a quiet section, this, to try and get you uh, feeling tense and wondering what the hell's going on. And then we go once again, showing us these, these creations that we don't quite know what they are. This, this tease of a future prospect of an enemy, but you don't really see them. You kind of have one encounter with them, and then after that, you don't really see much. So now that we've got to a, a drop shop, make sure you, you keep buying your ammo, staying on top of your, your goods. Which for me generally means buying charge shots because they're the ones that get wasted. And then contemplating what ammunition to buy. And I've been playing this on very easy now that I've beat it. So that I can clean up on some of the achievements and find the collectibles and things. And the shop is so cheap on very easy. It's hilarious. It's like 80 pence per everything. You can pretty much upgrade everything you want at any time with ease. It's brilliant. But right now, this is the bullshit section that I've mentioned, so I wait for my team to get on, on the lift, then I pick this up, and I run over here, and click the button as quick as you can, so that you can use this machine gun for, a, for as long as possible. And what happens now is, this elevator's gonna ride all the way up this shaft. <laughs> I said shaft, yes I did. And these create creatures are gonna run up, and if they touch the, the cog at the top, they'll blow up. And if so many of them do this, it will fail the mission. So, you have to kill them before they get there. And the general pattern is, you'll get one on the left, one on the right, two on the left, one on the right. And that's pretty much the pattern. So, one left, one right, two left, one right. And this is what you've got to do. As soon as you run out of the minigun, it comes a little bit more challenging, because you've got to use your carbine. And I don't know about your guys, but when I precision aim with the carbine, there is no way I can move this fast between targets. I have to do it from hip fire. And I'm rocking pretty high sensitivity because the game felt sluggish to me, so this might take a little practice to get your measurements just right. But you can let a couple of them go past, so don't worry if you make a couple of mistakes. But if you let more than five or six, it's just going to get you killed. And unfortunately, the checkpoint is all the way down at the bottom. There is no mid-elevator checkpoint. And when we get to the top, if you do not follow what I do, you will die and have to do it all over again. So, this is not a fun section. Not a fun section at all. This is what I would call a bullshit section. Uh, a fluent bullshit section. A planet bullshit section. Uh, a Jesus bullshit section. That's how bad I would call this moment. But as soon as this starts, slide on your ass and go straight under that door. Don't focus on the creatures. Don't shoot a thing and get in here. Because if you don't, it's just game over. But once you've done that, you've done another one of the more challenging areas of the game. 
and we can carry on and keep making our way to the the, the next chapter and here they go shit talking each other as usual but pick up all the stray ammo make sure that you've got everything in order because it's just going to be getting rougher from here basically and there we go there's the Ulysses and there's the the beautiful vista I do oh god the, oh, the skylines on this game they give me a full on hard on I'm like some kind of skyline pervert it's unreal but thanks for watching my videos guys I hope you're enjoying them and you take care now